Alright guys, um, so let's get on to uh, the next issue of the four-part story, Batman Flash, The Button. We're now moving into part two, and we're now coming into the Flash part of the story. And this is where I feel like the real meat is. The first part's a nice little, like, oh shit, Thawne's back, and he beat the shit out of Batman, like, bad. But now we're getting into the major part of the story. And I really like this, um, that Barry has come in, and he is con completely confused. Because, you know, he sees Thawne's body. It's dead. He got killed by, Do by supposedly, Dr. Manhattan. And he sees Bruce, like, barely alive, so the first thing he does is take care of Bruce with uh, Alfred's help. And then he goes to do something that a lot of writers seem to forget about with Barry Allen. Set up a crime scene. I'll, I don't know how many times, but it's been, brought, it's, it's been done a lot better in the uh, later years, even in 50... Well, even in 52, they forgot about it at some point, but yeah. Um... Yeah, a lot of people tend to forget that Barry Allen is a cr is kind of a detective himself. He's a forensics expert. So what's he do? <laughs> this is a crime scene, so he's gonna you know look at it, look into it. And yeah, I really like. There's this great moment in here where uh, basically what happens is that he stops for a moment after setting up this crime scene over Thawne's body, and he literally goes, "It's over, mom." And I'm like, oh, that's really sweet. Because, yeah, that's the dude who murdered his mother out, uh, just, to, just to screw with him. And it's a great scene um, where he just stops for a moment. He's like, I am... So, he's just like, oh, man. I'm so glad he's finally gone. I mean, I'm shocked that he's back, but, yeah, I'm glad that this fucker is dead. Like, he is staying dead for the... You know, someone inadvertently just avenged my mother. So, anyway... He kind of comes to a few conclusions, obviously knowing that one, that A, Batman doesn't kill, and B, um, Batman, if he does, if he did kill, he wouldn't be able to do something like this, because he's just down to the skeleton, uh, Thawne is just down to the skeleton. And he looks into it, and he discovers that there has been, cro that there has been energy similar to the speed force that he channels on it, and he comes to this conclusion. Either someone's using that power because it seems a lot it seems a lot more irradiated when it's close to this button, or B, I a future version of myself came back here and killed his ass. And I don't think it's B. So that's what I really like here is that Barry is really just digging into this mystery and he's just like, I have no clue what the fuck's going on right now, but I am damn sure gonna figure it out. I am going to get to the fucking bottom of this. So, Barry continues to dig through all this evidence, and he's talking to Bruce, and he says, Look, Thawne said he saw God, and I saw something. And he, he doesn't want to tell, he doesn't want to tell Barry, and Barry's like, Look, Bruce, what did you see? And he's like, I saw my dad. He's like, Oh, that, that's not good. We need to fix that. So, <laughs> Barry goes back to the Watchtower after helping, you know, Bruce. He goes back to the watchtower, and we see it, like, there's this private vault of all these little um, memorabilia and all these little things of the DC Universe. You see, like, the original Martian Manhunter costume, you see Aquaman, uh, one of the uh, weapon, one of the ancient weapons that uh, of um, Atlantis. You see a lot of shit, and then you see what Barry came there for. He's, he's basically like, look... I, if I'm going to be able to figure this out, I need to travel, uh, I need to follow the path of the, where this em energy source that this button is giving off, and I need to figure out where this is coming from and how I, need, how I need to get there is through it, but I need a little more power. And you're probably wondering, well, what kind of power would he use? Boom! Cosmic treadmill. And I geeked out so fucking hard, I was like, oh my god, it's the cosmic treadmill! <laughs> Oh, it's so good to see that thing again. Yeah, it was it was really good to see that again. And yeah, he's just Barry's just about to you know head out. He's just like, all right, you know, I got everything. I'm gonna follow you know I'm gonna follow where this button takes me, and then I'm going to find out who did this, who killed Thawne, and who's tr you know who possibly screwed all this up. But however, before he does that, uh, Bruce comes along. He's like, oh, I'm going with you. This is my case. You know. Someone brought Thawne from out of his timeline where he's supposed to be dead into my house, beat the shit out of me, and I'm gonna go with you. And, and Barry's like, hell no. And, and he's like, <laughs> and Bruce is just like, can you really say no to me? 
No, Bruce, I can't. <laughs> so, without call telling anyone else, Bruce, uh, Batman and Flash just go off uh, using the cosmic treadmill into the basically, like, hyper-time slash multiverse, and they see all these, like, um, split, uh, splinters of time, and eventually they end up back in the Batcave, and they're like, no, this is wrong, this is... This is not our, you know, Bruce is like, this is not my Batcave. And then he sees on, he sees the gun that murdered his parents. He turns around, it's Flashpoint Batman, a.k.a. Thomas Wayne. And of course, Bruce is just completely freaked out. So yes, it looks like that, yeah, Barry and Bruce are now back in the Flashpoint universe, which makes me wonder, um, how is this even possible? Because this timeline was completely destroyed. How is this, you know... This got po this got destroyed at the end of Flashpoint. How the hell is it still around? I mean, yeah, you could you could make the argument. Well, yeah, if there's you know in some timelines the Age of Apocalypse universe happened and it stayed. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Like there are universes in the Marvel universe where, you know, some universes where some events just stuck around. Like, um, like I said, Age of Apocalypse and a few others. So it wouldn't be out of totally out of the case if there was like a timeline where Flashpoint just kept going. That's a you know that is a strong possibility right there where you have uh, you have that kind of scenario and that might be it. But it makes me wonder how why are Barry and Bruce in the Flashpoint timeline and how did they get back there? And more importantly, what again? It, I'm still wondering because it's still keep because it's still up in the air. Is that is Dr. Manhattan really the one who changed everything? Because we still got that Mr. Oz guy. And, yeah, it does make me really question, you know... I, for, at the beginning, we all thought, oh yeah, Dr. Manhattan. And he definitely has a part in this, don't get me wrong. He definitely has a major part in this uh, story. But it still makes you wonder, maybe he didn't do it. Maybe he didn't create the New 52 part. Did he... He did something, but I don't think he... He may have had a hand in this, so it could be Mr. Oz. Um, there is... Um, this is a, turning out to be a really cool story. I'm really excited to see where we're going to go with um, Part 3. Uh, this was such a great story, and again, it really gives a lot of uh, love to Flash. And, of course, we got to see the Cosmic Treadmill, but it was a gr great moment to see, you know, Barry just setting up a crime scene, just going into total detective mode right there. I just thought that was a, that was really cool. But you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of the second part of Batman the Flash, the button? Just comment below, let me know, did you guys like it, did you guys hate it? Um, and once again, I hope you all enjoyed this review, and I'm out.